So the first use case we'll look at is asking ChatGPT to help us write basic functions. And I'm not talking about, you know, a function to add two things together, although we definitely can do that. Um, but I'll try and show a, a realistic example. We'll start with a very trivial example, maybe multiplying two numbers together, which is technically not adding them together, but then I'll show something uh, that I actually have used personally. I'm gonna try and keep some of this grounded in the real world. It's so much easier as a teacher to just say, write a function that adds two numbers and call it a day. But I do wanna show some things that prove that it can be useful in the real world. So I'm drawing from my own personal experience using ChatGPT over the last few months. Okay, so just like with any prompt, we need to give it a little bit of context. Um, we don't really need to say like, you are an expert developer. It's pretty good at writing code. So we can simply say, I need you to write me, let's pick a Python function that expects two numbers and returns the product of the two numbers. I mean, very, very basic. We really don't need ChatGPT to do this, assuming you have some developer experience. Now this is regular old ChatGPT, not the interpreter. It's giving me the code and showing me how to use it, but then I still, of course, have to run this myself and test it out. And with anything ChatGPT gives us, we definitely wanna try it just before incorporating it into any code base. That's a no brainer, just like you would try any function you find on Stack Overflow. And it does work pretty well in uh, all, most situations, including really basic functions that, you know, it, it certainly has come across this exact function in its training data set, but also in novel functions that it maybe has not come across. So something I had to do recently was rename a ton of files. Specifically, I had a bunch of numbered files. They're actually course lectures I had created. And they were in this format where I have a big course, maybe with 100 or 200 lectures, and I number them as I go, one and two, three, four. I'm using text files for this demo, but uh, when I actually ran this a couple weeks ago, uh, I had already done this using um, video files. And I just don't wanna mess with them right now. I'll leave my video files alone because they are correctly named. Anyway, what I did, kind of a naive thing for how long I've been making these courses, I normally label my course videos like this. In section one, I'll have 011 dot, you know, MP4, and then I'll have 012, and those will all be in section one. And then in section two, I have 0201 dot MP4, for example. And the reason I do it this way is because Udemy has a bulk uploader where I can upload a hundred videos at once and then attach them to lectures after I've uploaded. The problem is if I name my videos like this, one, two, three, four, five, and then I have in a separate section, one, two, three, four, five, and another section, one, two, three, four, five, I cannot figure out which video is which. I'll upload them all, and there'll be like 10 videos, one from each section that has the name one, and then another 10 videos from each section that has the name two. So what I wanna do is basically take the folder name, like right here, and rename this lecture to be four underscore one. And this one would be four underscore two, four underscore three. It would be simple enough to do this myself, but I just asked ChatGPT to help me with it. So I basically wrote a prompt that says, I have the following file structure. And then I tried to diagram it here, where I have a folder with the name of one. And then inside that folder, I have one.txt, 2.txt, 3.txt, and then I have a folder called 2, and inside of that I have 1.txt, and I'll just leave it off at 2.txt. And then below that, write me a Python script that I can run to rename all the files in a directory to be prefixed with the number of the directory, maybe the parent directory. Then move all the files into a single new directory called ready to upload or something like that. So I wanted to take this structure 
and uh, write code that can loop over all of the directories, which I might need to coach it with because it might just assume I only want these two directories. Take the name of each directory and prefix each lecture, each file with that number. So two underscore one, two underscore two. So I might even show it the format. The lectures or the files should have names like one underscore one dot txt and one underscore two dot txt. So I'll show an example of the, the end format I want. Let's see what it does. It might need more information. Okay, so it starts by making my directory called ready to upload if it doesn't yet exist. List all the directories in the current working directory. If it is a directory, list all the files. And then perfect, this is exactly what we want. This line right here, if you're not familiar with Python, this is an F string. It interpolates the name of the directory, underscore the name of the file, and then it moves them all into this directory. Now let's see, it says you're running it, I assume you're running it in the parent directory of the one and two directories, that's what I want. So let's try this. I'm gonna make a new script in here called, you know, rename files.py. I put the script that it gave me in rename files, so it's in there. And now I'm gonna try executing it. And let's see what happens. Okay, it looks like some stuff happened. These directories are now empty, which I did tell it to move them. I could have said make a copy, but I was dealing with video files originally, which were large, like hundreds and hundreds of gigs of video. So I didn't want to do that. And now, instead of ready to upload, perfect. I have four underscore X. I have three underscore each one of my lectures, two underscore and so on. It did exactly what I wanted. Um, so I did this in the real world, like I said, but I was using video files and then I could take this entire folder and upload it all to Udemy at once uh, using the bulk uploader tool. And I didn't have to worry about name collisions. And it was very easy as I went section by section to identify the correct videos once they were uploaded. So just a simple example, but this is a sort of thing that ChatGPT is really useful for in my day-to-day -day life as a developer. I could write this function. It would just take some time. Why not try something using ChatGPT and save that time? Thank <laughs> you.